They tryna ride the wave, ride the wave, yeah. Praying for better days, praying for better days. Just know that I'm on my way, yeah, yeah. I'm on my way. Just know that I'm on my way, yeah. What's up, y'all? We got a very special episode of the very the first wave. episode of the new rebrand with the wave. We got Mr. Manny from Lane Vintage here. Lane Vintage up in here. Let's go. About to see a good little interview. Get it, get it, uh, get to know his story, what, he, what he's about, and how he got into the, the whole vintage game so y'all make sure to tune in we'll be at you check it out we're going live on live or what yeah just, yeah we're going live here the, too with the youtube channel yeah just to get the the followers to come in maybe they could tune in see what's yeah. up good interview oh it's gonna be good i didn't practice by the way you don't need to. Yeah, it's not, it's not meant. It's not meant to be practiced. Yeah, I told Christine I was like, let's just do it on the fly. Like, yeah, yeah, like it's uh, like so you have a general idea of what I'm asking you, but not really. Well, I like seen, the, I the, the, the question, but like it's not gonna be verbatim. I'm just gonna yeah, like, yeah. hey, we're just gonna be having a regular yeah. conversation. These are just the topics we're gonna touch. Okay. Tell me. Ah, excited. Like like just no, pretend the camera's not there. It's just me and you having a conversation. Okay. Episode one, wow. the re the re the rebrand is is getting is real. What's up, everybody? Ninety seven point seven, the city. We got a very special show, and a very exciting show for me. Very first episode of the new wave. So welcome to Wave Three Radio. Uh, tune in every Thursday for the wave with all your exclusive content on music, sports, merch, uh, fashion. Uh, no other better way to break off this first episode than somebody who's very prominent in the vintage game, in the resale markets, uh, Mr. Lame Vintage himself. What's up, bro? Bro, appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, yeah, good, man. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, bro. Just chilling, man. Yeah. I'm excited for the show. Uh, exactly. First episode, I was like, man. So for those of you who don't know, me and me and Lame go way back, bro. Way back, uh, tell us, uh, man. We used to work five at years, we, six years, six eight? plus years, something like, like that, eight, bro. bro. So um, we started off working at Champs together in the shoe game. So we did, yeah. We I, got the as, game. I got hired as I got hired as assistant manager. He yes. was assistant manager. I was uh, ahead of him, so I yeah. was like kind of training you. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Um, yeah, man. We, we we kicked it off, bro. It was dope that we ran that store, bro. bro. For like, real, it was, was the, for those of you who don't know, it was the outlet downtown. Shout out to Ben Valdez, the the manager. Um, we were there for a, for a hot little minute, man. Get, you know, enjoying the shoe yeah, game and just a lot of fun, bro. Shoes every the, week. <laughs> yeah, bro. For hell, yeah. that's my favorite thing to do. Just break open a fresh box of freshly oh, yeah. shipped shoes. That was just, fun, bro. Yeah, you, <sighs> and you get you got to see behind the scenes on how a shoe the shoe culture was back then. Dude, and for real, the shoe culture back then was hot, bro. Yeah, I I I, I uh I uh give a lot of uh, props and like for what that game taught me oh, and, and now like oh definitely uh, the whole, like, bro I use it in in my every day. Yeah, yeah, every day in vintage, stuff. I yeah. use it in there, bro. Like, which is crazy. Bro. It's it's a trip, bro. So going on going on lane vintage, bro. So uh, how did you get into the whole vintage and resale uh, world? Well, vintage itself, bro. I I got the love for it off of my little cousin, um, bro. One day I just seen him wearing like this badass shirt. I forgot what it was. I think it was like a Pink Floyd or, or, or something, man. And. Uh, I was like, dude, that's a badass shirt. Like, where'd you get it? He was like, oh, I, I got it at the flea market or uh, either. Yeah, I think it was at the flea market. He said he paid like two, three bucks for yeah. it. Yeah, and Pink it was, Floyd, uh, dude, it yeah. was a banger, bro. Like, just it just looked sick. Did he say what flea market? Uh, Alamo. Alamo. Ooh, yeah, Ooh, Alamo. Shout out, yeah, Bronco nine five six. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm playing. Um, dude, yeah, and and I told him I was like, dude, I want it. Like, and and then he was just like. Yeah. He's like, I'll sell it to you. I was like, I was like, I was thinking like, oh, 10 bucks, you know, yeah, 15 yeah. bucks. Dude, he came out with like, I'll sell it to you for like 150. Ah, and I was just like, what? Like, dude, yeah. that's wild. And then uh, from there, I was just like, nah, like I'm gonna chill. That's yeah. a lot of money for a yeah, shirt. For real. You know, la, la, la. I was I was okay with spending 150 on shoes at yeah. the time, but not 150 on a shirt. Bro, the profit uh, margin on that. It's bro. wild, man. I mean, <laughs> turning two, three dollars to a hundred. Yeah, crazy. bro. It's like and the whole culture itself it, between shoes and like pop culture and music has like really funneled into this weird like 
curation of like what we have now like the vintage styles the music it really has man a style all that retro general stuff is, is, yeah retro stuff is with the colors the you colors, know bro. putting different brands together we, like it, it's it's wild man where do you think that comes from though bro is it um, just like nostalgic like us just growing it, up in the 90s it, it's like nostalgia yeah nostalgia yeah. sells bro like and if people get that reminiscent feeling of like oh when i was a kid i remember this yeah and it'll take them back to a certain memory that gets unlocked and and they'll think it'll, it'll put them back in that time yeah like for sure bro and that's what they love about this it's crazy it man. is it's wild so how long have you been doing this whole um, vintage game like how, when did you start so with that that story with my cousin uh yeah. that was probably about five years ago okay and from then i was like let me see what's in my closet like, yeah i didn't know yeah and sure enough i had like three or four shirts that was already in my closet that yeah. were you know 50 60 dollar shirts yeah and then um from there it, would, it just turned into unlocking all the people that i started following mm -hmm. there were there was things called pop-up markets that yeah. were going on um and i was like oh let me go check that one out you know let me go check this out and uh yeah there was vendors that were they had racks of clothes of t-shirts of pants of everything i would go check it out and i would just spend i don't know 30 40 dollars and i would come out with three four outfits all right, all right. right? Crazy. and i was like oh man that's so sick right like and then that ended up turning into having too much stuff yeah and can i curse on here like, uh we prefer not, not to okay, okay. Yeah. All, right, all right let's do it okay. Keep friendly yeah, yeah yeah okay um so yeah like uh, i just had too much stuff and then at the point covid hit yeah. we were in in the house for months you know and then finally i was just like let me just start posting some of this yeah like, the same pages that i was started following yeah i got inspiration from them and i was like let me show them let me show off the stuff that i have collected in these past six months yeah for and sure. then it just started lame vintage man yeah like, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, yeah i just came up with the idea and it, was it was really like, more during covid than you think it, it, it was covid that popped it off bro, bro so honest. that's a crazy thing because like even for a lot of people like starting business everybody during covid like so much free time on your hands really like is. how can i be more creative with yeah, myself COVID, i mean bro you're stuck in the house for two months you know, three months if anything like it's cultivating you know, no ideas. Job. yeah bro the ideas watching people the instagram live was a big yeah. thing like so i'll get on in we me and my wife we'll get on instagram live and do we'll get up from seven in the morning all the way up until eight nine no shit. at night just watch uh this uh, he goes by 1980 co okay on, on instagram and uh dude he would do uh it was called a virtual flea so it was like a virtual flea virtual market, flea market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he would get different vendors uh -huh. they would go on live all day throughout the day and they would just start uh auctioning off their vintage shirts bro. Dude, that's crazy and how many people are in these rooms mind. when you're going live uh, man i mean it would depend on how big the following was for that person and just stuff like that but yeah. dude you would see 50 60 100 people like just and, in a live just auction live setting auction, just bidding yes. through chat just right? bidding on their phone damn all day, all day. Bro. and i i remember i i seen we seen one one live where they hit a thousand views bro like this a thousand people auction, in one auction. yeah in one live just it was watching them yeah. go live and selling the stuff like so you, like you know like especially like in the shoe game you like people who are in the shoe game they know other prominent resellers like mm -hmm. kais and mm -hmm. uh uh, you know whoever else Definitely. is in the shoe game yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Uh, you know it's an influencer is there is there is there people like that oh, in definitely. the vintage yeah, yeah, world where it's like uh, oh like this dude, person i mean one of the biggest ones that i follow uh he goes by paul cantu okay. uh, he's out of houston okay. and i mean i followed his youtube channel way before i even got into the vintage i just seen him thrifting yeah there's there's a big difference between thrifting and vintage you know like and uh yeah he, he he posts every other day and, and i would follow him and then uh, another one he's up in uh seattle he goes by uh i think it's jeffrey star and the star life okay. um, or jacob star i think jacob star. <laughs> i was like jeffrey yeah star? no no not jeffrey star I call him Je yeah my bad uh, jacob star <laughs> And uh, he goes by the Star Life, and he was in, uh, a sneaker influencer, and then he got into the vintage. That's like, crazy. In, in the same time of the COVID time, like. And he kind of like transitions into. Yeah, yeah, tra different like transitions. And yeah, dude, it, it, it's always been around. It's just you, you just have to get that. Uh, oh, it, the door has to open to you for you, you to get unlocked all this stuff. Like, That's crazy. With vintage and, and, and secondhand, yeah, and all that stuff, man. And how do you how do you operate now? Like, are you already you've been in the game for a few years already. Mm -hmm. uh, um, now I uh, I sell out of a shop called Reminisce Vintage. Uh, really? It's shout actually out. down the street. Yeah, shout, shout out, out Reminisce, Reminisce bro. Vintage. That's the homie Jason. Appreciate you. Uh, so yeah, he gave me the opportunity to set up shop in his store. So I have a room to myself. Uh, we oh. call so I go by Lame Vintage. The room we call it the lame room the whole, like so yeah. it's a cool little theme and everything the the room is set up how 
I would want my room to be set up as a kid when I was a kid. Just stuff on the walls, toys, nicknames. You just curate it to your liking to, yeah, exactly style. what I like. And then, of course, the product that I sell is product that I've seen that's hot, that's selling, that's mm-hmm. trending. And um, I just, I follow the trends. You know, what's yeah. next? I, what, what are the kids liking? What are the, the, you know, our age group liking? And I go and curate these items, find them, and put them up on the rack. Clean them, wash them, all that stuff. Throw them up on the rack for sale. Get a little bit Damn, of Damn, bro. You, I'm sure, like, a lot of people who, like, you find a lot of hidden gems, bro. Like oh, stuff that normally would people with the untrained eye would like, like, oh, it's just whatever. Oh, and dude, you look at like, dang, this is actually yes. like a, you know, certain bro, one there, stitch or dude, single yes, stitch exactly. item. So there's a lot of knowledge when it comes to the vintage game and how to pick how right? to pick it how to yeah. find it dude there's everything tags on the shirt yeah you know the stitching the graphic on it the year you know uh the brand of that yeah, call, yeah, the yeah. collar you know like the different collars the colors there's mm-hmm. there's a lot of knowledge when it comes to it like it's crazy and then when it break it down even more you know let's just say like uh like that pink floyd shirt yeah, that yeah. i told you about with my cousin um dude i mean pink floyd's been around for 40 50 years mm-hmm. you know like so they have different albums and and yeah. different times that they were hot and yeah. stuff like that so uh each shirt and each graphic has a different value to it and a different thing so there's that i guess that's one thing that excites me the most is the knowledge that i'm finding out with some of these things so yeah. sometimes i'll find something i'm like i have no idea what this is yeah you start digging let deep, me dig, like yeah let me do some google research I, I got a gem exactly here. yeah or sometimes it's just a dud but it's yeah. just a cool shirt yeah, like, yeah, yeah it's just a cool graphic it looks cool so yeah man there's a lot of stuff behind this stuff and and uh yeah it's just knowledge learning knowledge learning i remember when i first when i first started dabbling into the whole vintage game um i started watching was it uh, slobby's world slobby's world on yeah, yeah. netflix Slobby and i was like yeah. it was like before like vintage was even a thing yeah, like definitely. he was doing like the whole resale yeah. and even like the, the bootleg items and the knockoff stuff exactly. that people actually like yes, exactly. for it being a knockout i was like man there's a whole market for people mm-hmm. who like this stuff yeah. and i'd see him like oh like I'll, I'll buy it off of you for oh, five ten bucks and then somebody would come right in the door 50 bucks 100 bucks i was like exactly. damn exactly that's like quadruple you know that's yeah. that's business exactly. a business yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's actual business and, going and on, dude, bro. There, like, it's like that all the way around man there's sometimes where i just find little nicks and knacks yeah like you yeah. said bootleg a bootleg gucci shirt yeah you know, it'll probably sell even more than the real one that's crazy because how that the, works it, it's vintage or it's yeah. older or it's a, a it's crazy when you put in two categories like it's a vintage bootleg yeah you know what i mean so they made bootlegs back in the day yeah and it's vintage now that's like, that's ridiculous isn't it like man like the whole how people's taste and liking for the not real stuff yeah. is just like Dude, and yeah and at that point it's it's to each his own you know what yeah. i mean it, it depends on how you want to feel and this and that but as far as i know i've never had anybody come up to me and be like oh those are fake like, yeah. you know or all oh, that's a fake shirt no, yeah I mean, who cares you're gonna yeah. walk by all i've seen is everybody walk by and be like that's a bad ass shirt yeah those are bad ass shoes like yeah, yeah, yeah. Dope, thank you you know what i mean Hell but yeah. i'm not gonna me especially i'm not gonna go and investigate take off your shoe let me smell it let hold me, on like, yeah yeah, yeah. Like, let me nah, see the, the tag exactly. on it exactly yeah 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 <laughs> no man like um and yeah it's like that in the vintage world because even now to date like they are making bootleg shirts like the one i have on yeah, like, yeah. they're making fake ones age, right now age them like they the age them stuff. The paint that they put on it is different yeah. and they sell them as the prices of these real ones so you still got to be you know on, on the watch to know you know the pain of it and stuff like that it's 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 out there man. that's crazy mm-hmm. that's crazy what kind of music you like listening to bro? um bro i'm everywhere man uh i like all types of music rock um tejano rap Right now, I'm probably it's uh, Grupo Frontera, bro. Ooh, shout they're, out Grupo yeah, Frontera. Yeah, they're, they're on it, bro. They yeah, put the value on the map. Yeah, everywhere. bro, like, you can't even do that. That's a beautiful thing. Dude, bro, you know? I go to the Buga, right? I went to the Buga yeah. last Friday. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, Trae every other dude, every other vendor <laughs> had that song playing, bro. Like, and dude, I was like, man, even when I got in my car, I put yeah, it on. I was like, yo, I gotta yeah, listen yo, to it. Yeah, it slaps. Yeah, and then Bad Bunny comes out like, hey, hey, like, yo, dude, it's wild, bro. Like, what about uh, Peso Pluma? Are you mess with Peso Pluma? Um, I'm getting into it. I'm getting. Yeah. It. I'm not too big on like the what is it, like Norteño. It's like it's corridos like, tumbados, corri- right? Yeah. Okay, I'm not too big on it, but. I'm learning it, you know, because it's yeah. everywhere. Yeah, it's on yeah. the TikToks, it's on everywhere. So, that, 
tong tong tong. Yeah, right? like, yeah, it's, it's yeah. out there, man. So, oh, oh. The tuk -tuk 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 -tuk. yeah, bro. Like, so, uh, that's man, dope, man. Yeah, man. Man, 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 man. yeah, bro. Like, it's, it's hard, bro. Like, it's, it goes it hard, bro. You can feel the passion no, in the then, music. That's the most. He, yeah, exactly. What translated exactly. the passion he was in, like, exactly. damn. And then like, he came out on Jimmy Fallon, I think, and he yo. was wearing this, like, Baton, yeah, like, uh, Letterman Jeff yeah, Marcy I remember Jack, that. Like, and it was hard, bro. I was like, yo, that that's crazy. He's putting, like, he's shining a light in his exactly, respected exactly, field. Exactly, it's just right. beautiful thing to see, like uh, people who come from that background and area just being put on a global spot. Yeah, exactly. Like, like, and he's he's stepping out of his boundary of like the styling. Right? Yeah, you know for I mean? sure. He's bro. wearing the Supreme. He's wearing the the Louis Vuitton. And like, it's also like a plays into like the misconception people have with people who play that music. Oh, like the Spanish. Oh, cowboy boots yes. and button up, like no, nah, like these guys yeah. are rocking some nice yeah, like, influenced name by the brands, yeah, sneakers, yeah, like Supreme, exactly, like, uh, the Louis Vuitton exactly, collabs, you know, yeah. all that good stuff, bro. Yeah. That's it's insane and, and thing to think about. Go, going into like my style or like the lame vintage style, that's what I want, bro. I yeah. want to see different styles of clothing get put together, like, and that's the cool thing with with the clothes, with vintage, with and not just vintage, with thrifting itself, yeah, bro. Like, yeah. All you gotta do is just take some time, put different combinations of clothing together, and you're gonna get a sick outfit. Most like, definitely. I mean, that's the, the that's the cool yeah. part about it. That's um, crazy. And that's man. how that's how I go as far as like not I'm not not on a daily, but like when it, so I do this thing called What Am I Wearing Wednesday. Oh yeah, I seen so that. So every that. Wednesday, I've been doing this for like a hundred and thirty weeks, Dang, maybe more, bro. maybe more. I, I lost count already, but uh, basically it's just a little segment that I do on my Instagram where I post an outfit that i chose of the week uh and i just showcase it you know? yeah i just yeah. show people you know oh the top this is the bottom these are the shoes the full outfit a little yeah. pose right and each one is different so what i do with that one is like i i have the idea of who do i what character do i want to be that day yeah on, i got you i got Wednesday. you like so then i'll be like yo i want to be uh, kanye today yeah i'll yeah. dress in like a, a, a gap tee and like black pants and yeah, I yeah. got my wave runners on and like yeah, yeah. Th th I want to be Kanye today or yeah, the next yeah. day I want to be Superman yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, that's how I, I that's how I choose the outfits I learned that from one of my homies uh, he goes by clap the bins mm -hmm. and he said bro, bro he was like just be a character like yeah, whatever character yeah. you want to be that, that's who you can exactly be. bro so it's cool bro so touching back on like the actual business mm -hmm. side of it and uh that the real stuff really like what what are some of the struggles you've came into contact or faced while doing this starting um, off the vintage game I'll, I'll be honest bro the biggest thing that i've learned is i'm i'm my biggest competitor and i'm i'm my biggest like challenge when it comes to it like yeah um so that put, putting that in, in perspective and talking about it it's like when i first started i was expecting to sell you know when as soon as i posted the shirt i was expecting for it to sell yeah you know like and i've I, even to this day i've had a shirt that i've had since the beginning you know and it's just yeah. never sold you know yeah, what I mean? yeah. but it was like why isn't it selling you know this and that but i just had to break out of that you know yeah uh, uh, why did, find more stuff you know sell it you know go through it and, and yeah I'm, I'm my biggest competitor i'm my biggest challenge when it comes to it and getting out of my own head is, is what yeah, it is sure, you know man. what i mean like staying in my own lane but of course looking at other people how, how am i getting influenced by yeah. other people you know what i mean and how are they influencing me to be better you know what i mean yeah, like because sure. uh, i look up to the homies Re reminis he's yeah. one of the biggest ones like and uh I, I when i first met him i told him i was like bro i want this i want what you have like you have it all you have the looks you have what it takes you have the product and the, it's the, an actual brand you know is, like it's it not is. just a store like you are cur curating like your own brand exactly. reminiscence name vintage exactly. all these other vintage spots exactly bro it's, you know it's what I mean? wild to say like and the one thing that he told me when when i when we were i was young to this like i had maybe a couple months and the one thing that he told me was there's two things there's two reasons why you don't have what i have and he was like the first one is um you haven't put enough hard work and effort as much as i have and two it's just not your time like yeah and i like took that to heart bro i was like whoa they, people expect to jump into everything like oh and i'm gonna just jump into yeah. the vintage or shoe game i'm just gonna exactly be successful. Dude, yeah and i thought that i thought i was gonna be successful off the rip like that's just the way i i've always yeah been, you, you want to believe in yourself yeah, but exactly to I've a certain been extent like you gotta also mm -hmm. know that hey yeah when it's your time it's your time exactly and at the same time when i started this i, w I had just went well so i had quit champs 
okay. right back in the day, and I was gone for like two years, and I had just gone back to Champs. So yeah, I quit and, Champs uh -huh. for a while, then just went back. Went back. Like, yeah, I want to yeah, exactly. try this again. Exactly. Yeah, I had went out of my way. I had went to Medellin. I had worked with HEB. I learned more stuff out, out of the valley. That yeah, was a cool yeah. thing. I learned stuff that wasn't from here. You yeah. know, I, I learned to see different, you know what I mean? Like, and when I came back, it was like, okay, I need my assistant manager job back already off the rip. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm gonna be better than I was when Before. I was at AM, you know, yeah. blah, blah, blah. so much and coming back with more experience. Yeah, more passion, more to it. Yeah, yeah. bro, I really- More life experience. Definitely, you know? yeah. bro, I, coming back to it, I really thought I was gonna retire with the company again. Yeah. You know what I mean? But then I found this passion, this little love that I got for it. So then I started expressing it there. You know what I mean? I started telling people like, oh, go follow me real quick. You know, this is my Instagram. Yeah. Like, and uh, yeah, bro, it, it became something like that to where I got conflicted in a way where I was like, I was pushing 40, 50 hours a week. But then on top of that, I still had to do an extra 20 to go manage big, the, the and go yeah, online, yeah. posting, exactly, social man. media yeah, management. So, so at, at times it was, it was hard, bro. It was like, Bro, I, do I really want to do this? Yeah, like, you come like, man, is this really? Yeah, like, man, should I quit? Or am exactly. I doing the right thing? Yeah, am I yeah, yeah. overworking myself? Exactly, man. I, I, I didn't know what to do for for a couple months, man. Like, yeah. I was like, do I want to? I this the, the champs job is bringing me money. It's, it's paying for everything. Yeah. But I love this. You yeah. Know? But it's this is not making money. Yeah, like, exactly. You know? Like, so it's just like, man, what 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 am I gonna do? Like, yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that was what, the, that what, was what pushed you over to like, you know, what, I'm gonna quit champs and I'm gonna do this full time. The biggest thing honestly was i got transferred over to the foot action store okay and with the foot action store there was no uniform so it allowed me to wear what i had yeah you yeah, know what i mean yeah. so every day i was going in there dripped out yeah, bro yeah, you know yeah. what i mean from head to toe i was still rocking the sneakers that i would get there yeah. with the craziest vintage shirt possible dope, bro. and the cool thing there was i was a manager and then i became the store manager and customers were always like this guy looks the part he knows what 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 if they're what, gonna take advice or style it's, it's advice gonna be from me you, you yeah, know yeah. what i mean so they would come to me oh i need the next shoe i need you know what's the hottest shoe and then they'll be like oh put this outfit together for me because mm -hmm. i'm going downtown or whatever yeah, like yeah, yeah. so then i would do that I, I would put people's outfits together so then i took that as an advantage to be like go ahead and follow me to lane vintage yeah right? yeah and that's really where i grew a lot of the following out of that yeah. out of that store man and um and then I would tell people like, oh, okay, like, uh, you know, you, do you like what I'm wearing? Like uh, this Saturday I have a pop-up, go to yeah, my pop-up. Yeah. You can find all this stuff there for sale. Blah, yeah, blah, blah. Yeah. Like, and I used that to my advantage, bro. Like it, it was awesome for, That's dope, for it, I worked there for, as a manager for a year. Yeah. Right. And when, when I became the store manager, they gave me a notice that they were going to shut down the store. Okay. And when when they when i heard that they were gonna shut down a store i completely thought damn i'm losing my job already right? yeah six yeah, months yeah. down the road i'm gonna lose my job yeah i have to work hard on lane vintage so i did bro I yeah went like if crazy. that was your only option yeah, bro. I, I'm, yeah. I, and I, I had it in my head i don't want to do nothing else besides lane vintage i want to get i want to make just as much money as a manager with lane vintage exactly, like, bro. and i did bro i hustled every week uh, i hustled i booked pop-ups sometimes it would be four pop-ups in the weekend and there's only two days on this like, yeah, saturday man, sunday it's you insane. Know? And, and I was I still had my job yeah. you know what I mean so it was wild bro and, and we did that until the we sh I shut down the gate and the next day it was just like I'm laying vintage yeah, I mean? yeah. Like, even though I, w I w already was for two years yeah. but it finally hit me like this is it you know what yeah, I, mean? yeah, I don't yeah. want to go back I, uh, I don't want to be you know uh locked down by corporate retail you she know i don't want to be owned by by a corporate company like yeah. i got the taste of freedom of making my own money feels good you know right I mean? it was it's awesome like bro yeah shark when you smell blood in the water it's like, oh yeah dang, like and, i want more dude like, and that's the thing like being in Foot Locker, it was like that. It was, you had to be a shark to get yeah. the sales when there was commission at the time. Exactly. Like, you had to go out there and, and talk to the people, befriend them, convince them to buy the shoe, get the sale, and then they, you would make, I don't know, five, six, ten dollars in your pocket sure, with, yeah. the, with that sale. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's kind of like the same thing here, but here I get the, the freedom to, you know, lay back and not push the people to buy it. Yeah. It's, it's on them to buy it. You know yep, what I mean? Yep. I just show them what I have. Like they say, man, dope sells itself, bro. Exactly. Like, it's, yeah. you know, they, they like it or not. Exactly. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. And I'm not going to, uh, back then I did shove it down people's throat. Lame vintage, lame vintage, lame vintage, lame vintage. Now it's just but now like, the point on, is natural. It's, it's just it's, created. It's just, I'm the aura. I'm the walking brand. Like, you know, yeah, bro. Like, that's, that's, I see that, man. That's, that's dope. So, uh, going into like now transitioning from champs to like, 
on uh, working solo, bro. What is uh, what is some of like the looking back at your journey? Like, what are some of the positives you've gotten from it? Oh, bro, uh, I met my wife, or I didn't meet my wife. She she came in at the right time. Yeah. Like, uh, which was when I was coming down from Midland again, yeah. bro. My, one of my best friends was like, oh, bro, I'm downtown. Like, yeah, yeah. I got some girls here. Like, blah, blah, blah. And uh, <laughs> it, 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 she, uh, he was like, oh, she said she knows you. She called you Bugs. And uh, she used to call me Bugs back in middle school. I got you. Like, and uh, sure enough, went downtown, went straight downtown. And it happened to be her. And from that day, uh, she just never left my sight, bro. And, Damn. Yeah. And, shout, and, out. Uh, shout out Miss Lame. Yeah, for sure. Shout out Miss Lame. She, she holds it down. And miss lame holds it down bro like uh she, she's the one like if i'm going crazy she'll balance me yeah out. you know put what you I mean? check. Like, look, exactly. Manny, yeah, like, yeah she's like yo like you did this shit for a reason like yeah, you know, yeah. like and um yeah bro it's like that and uh yeah man look, looking back it's it's the journey that i'm loving bro right it's the journey. i'm very happy and and that i started something like this you know what i mean because i never thought i would like i said I, yeah. I was gonna retire at foot locker yeah that was a that plan, was my plan but you know, what yeah, I mean? there's and always it, something in store exactly, around the corner bro exactly, you never know like and who would have known like and all the people that i've met through this journey is wild um and all the knowledge i've learned and i've i've learned to be a way better person you know what i mean yeah. i'm uh i hope to say that i am humble you know what i mean and uh respectful and everything to anybody that walks into into my presence yeah you know what i mean i i want them to feel that i want them to feel what i feel that's yeah. the thing like i want them to feel free and I think I am, man. I, yeah, I see that, I feel bro. like I'm, I'm free. I'm, 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 I'm doing not what you old. love to yeah, do. Exactly, and like, bro. You know, like, nobody telling you otherwise. Not at all, man. And living I, under your own sky. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, exactly, man. And, and uh, yeah, man. So the journey for sure is, is, is the biggest positive thing that I can say. Like, That's cool, bro. Me. Well, man, props to you and everybody else doing Thank this you. whole uh, oh, yeah. vintage game, bro. Like, it's a... It's a culture in its own that's starting to grow, and a lot of people are starting to. There's a lot more light being shed on it. It right is. Now. It really is, man. So. And, and it's crazy that you say that because I mean, yeah, I, I don't have a lot of years, but the time that I have put in, bro, the people that follow me, mm -hmm. they're calling me the goat now. Yeah, they're bro, it's me, a trip. Like, they're putting yeah. me on a pedestal. And to I'm be like, like at the point where you were, and then all right, now I'm that guy. Like, yeah, that and people it, are it's, coming to like, like I said, and that's like why going I back have, to that conversation you said with with, uh, with reminiscence. Uh -huh. That, oh, exactly. like you haven't put the time in exactly. and the work, exactly. and it's not your time. Yeah, two, three years down the road, you put it, all that it time probably, in. It probably is my time. It might you know be, your, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, uh, but it's living in your truth right it now. It really is, man. It really is. So it, it's cool to, to be in that position, man. And uh, I just want to be a little hope for someone to be inspired, man. And, and uh, you know, because okay, so go, let me tell you the story of why I call it lame vintage. Okay, let's hear it. Like, so the story everybody says why lame like that's yeah. so bad like you're calling your yourself lame like but in reality i i made lame cool i made the word lame cool <laughs> that's like, interesting thing about yeah, that an like, uncool like word word cool it, yeah, yeah i made it cool and the reason why i called it that was bro take this back 10 13 15 years back in high school yeah i was the weird kid with you know, checkered band, skinny jeans, a slipknot shirt, and like the emo haircut. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and I had people telling me like, you're lame, like for dressing like that, like yeah. wear baggy clothes, wear like a cool shirt, like, you know? And like, even like uh, my mom would be like, oh, you need to dress in like Tommy Hilfiger and like this and that. Like, yeah, yeah, and, That's not, it doesn't like, conform to what it, yeah, society's exactly, saying you should dress like. Exactly, you know yeah, 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 you know what I mean? So I, I always called myself lame. You know, when I on my Facebook, I would put uh, so lame. lame Manny. Oh, like, lame that man. was my name, Lame Manny. <laughs> like, and uh, sure enough, bro, when I started the page, it, it, I broke my head for like a good day. Like, what am I going to call this? that i'm starting it only made sense man. you know what i mean like yeah. and people have like cool names you know this and that reminisce like yeah. his his is a breakdown of words to like reminisce yeah but he has menace in his name too at yeah, the same yeah. time like so he played his words out you yeah, know yeah. um the homie lazarus adam brownsville as well like and uh so yeah man like I, I broke my head around and finally i was like you know what just call it lame vintage like keep it myself keep it lame you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? La -la -la. And yeah, man, and I kept showing the people the outfits and I kept showing them how cool, like, I guess, I, I don't want to say I'm cool, but I thought I was cool. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? That's why I do the, the every time I do a little intro on, on my story, I do a little spin. 
Like, yeah, yeah, it's fun. It's, it's funny. Signature, like, it's a it's signature, s- signature lame yeah, content, bro. Exactly, like, man. Like, and I'm always like, "Hey, what's up, guys? Lame vintage here." Like, yeah, I just want the energy there, bro. Exactly, like, bro. And, and so that's the reason why I call it lame vintage because it's yeah. me. Like, it's still me. It's always gonna be me. Like, and it's gotten to the point where I'm no longer Manny. Like, yeah, my name's not Manny yeah, no more. Manny like, anymore, no, bro. My name's lame. It's like, like when Spider Man turned into Venom and like. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like you're now lame vintage, exactly, bro. Exactly, man. Yeah, it, and and I love that you put it like that, bro. Because yeah. that's how I see it. Like I'm I'm the Spider Man. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Uh, I used to be Peter Parker, but I'm Spider Man now. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, bro. Like that's funny, and, bro. And, and it, it's it's crazy. But Spider Man's my favorite character. Yeah, you know? yeah, he's my favorite superhero, and and uh, it's crazy, bro. Just to be able to be like I said, just to be in this position and and to talk the way I'm saying everything. Yeah, man, yeah. You have a like story that. to tell, bro. I have a story it's to tell. A, it's man. been a long like, journey, and you know, appreciate you you coming out out here and talking with us live yeah, man it's dope you, bro, bro for sure um any any words of wisdom to the youth or anybody um, out there trying to do what you're doing any advice that you'd give matter of fact what would you tell 12 year old manny right now if you could talk to 12 year old manny if i could tell my young self something uh just don't be afraid take the leap of faith like do it uh just like nike said just do it like you know what i mean uh go out there get out of your comfort like put yourself in a uncomfortable position to be comfortable i got you like, yeah, yeah. Uh, cuz that was the only way for me to get through it like you got to be I comfortable had, i had to be uncomfortable you got to be comfortable with being uncomfortable yes yes you know and it I became mean? comfortable you know what i mean like i said i was pushing <laughs> dude i would like i'm not going to lie i would work 60 70 hours in a week man i feel you and man. it was tough bro it played a role on my relationship it yeah, played a role it's on gonna test mental you, bro. health it tested you, know I mean? you it did it yeah. was and I, like I said, I just got to the point where now, bro, to, I'm not going to lie. Today, I, I had a schedule to go work and, and source, but I said, I'm going to relax. I'm going to take a chill. Let's recoup, you know, regroup. Exactly. Let's get I, your I, mind right. I chilled at the house all day because it's finding I can. Finding a balance. Because yeah. I can. You know what I mean? Because you can. That's exactly. the even better part. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I'm, I'm like I said, I'm blessed to be able to be in the position that I am. And uh, yeah, I could... I could work all day tomorrow, you know what I mean? And then the next day I'm just gonna chill. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah. Like um but of course I can't. Like I'm gonna go hard every day. Every single day, man. man. Every yeah. day. I every have day you to. wake like, up, it's a blessing yeah. to you know it's, not a lot of people gotta wake up today, you know. No, so not at all. That's not the all. drive yeah. a lot you know, we as creators gotta have like bro like Definitely. we have an opportunity to do yeah. something different today. And, and you know, you even giving a little bit of inspiration back again, it's not easy like yeah it, it, it may seem easy like i i may make it seem easy like on my instagram and my stories and my posts but bro this is hard work i'm working 24 yeah. 7 like, yeah man i'm on my phone consistently talking to customers you know measuring shirt shirts taking pictures you know and doing researching stuff yeah, like yeah, yeah. um every the joke in the vintage world is you quit your nine to five to work 24 7 like, that's, <laughs> that's really how it is like and and uh yeah man so it, it's it's not easy yeah but if you work your butt off and you know you get comfortable in a way it becomes easy it becomes simple yeah and uh yeah like i said i'm happy to be in, in the position where i can i have a shop where people go to you know i have a web or the website's going you know i have a website where people can go whenever they like you know and i always tell everybody yo my dms are open like yeah. if you want to talk you need info you need a simple conversation the dms are open you know? it's awesome like, bro um, because i know how it is bro yeah, like, yeah, the, yeah. The, the, you, you just want information like, that's crazy and man. it wasn't handed to me it, like i had to learn everything that i learned on my own yeah. you know what i mean i had to ask questions and that's the beautiful part about it step on the other side and see how far you have came and low like yeah like i made that happen right i i went out of my way to make to dictate the direction that my life is it going. really is yeah it really you know is. what i mean it speaks yeah. something more volumes bigger than what like vintage or mm-hmm. Even anything that speaks to as you as a person or really us is. as people Dude, like, and, and it's I mean? not about vintage clothes yeah i have a cool shirt on and this and that but bro at the same time like this shirt was gonna if i didn't find this shirt or whatever it was gonna get ripped into shreds and it was gonna get shipped down to third world countries brazil or whatever and gonna get thrown in a laptop yeah you know what yeah. i mean so at the same time like i feel like i have to do something for the environment and and you know um my yeah i guess just like my collective conscience of like i guess i'm doing something good for yeah for, mankind you know, mankind yeah, itself yeah, yeah. like what is my purpose manny like, manny man Man-a- yeah bro, like <laughs> alter ego <laughs> yeah. exactly like, the light bulb um yeah. dude but yeah man like it, it 
it, it helps me too because yeah bro not everyone wants to wear a ripped jeans ripped shirt you know what yeah, I mean? but yeah, yeah. uh i know if i can get a couple wears out of this make it look cool it served its purpose it served its purpose you yep. know what i mean so what is my purpose behind it like and that was my biggest thing like my purpose that i've learned now is i'm a people person and I just want to have the conversations. Like, I want to know what you're about. What have you been through? What are you yeah. going through? You know what I mean? And how am I going to make a difference in your life? It's dope. Like, that, that's really what yeah, it is, man. Yeah. Like, and, uh, dude, yeah, shout out. One of my, my, my favorite customers, and he's a friend now. Uh, he goes by Zero. And I met him a couple months ago, bro. Super shy, very timid, you know. But he had a crazy style. And I was like, dude, like, I complimented him. I was like, dude, that's sick. I was like, you're lame, bro. Like, you're definitely <laughs> lame. Like, and dude, sure enough, I don't know, somehow, like, he liked it. Like, and he kept coming back and he kept, you know, uh, coming back for more, bro. Another t shirt. And I would hook him up. All right, here you go, bro. And I would see him wear it. Like, and till now, bro, he's posting these outfits like every week yeah. when I'm doing my What Am I Wearing Wednesday. Yeah. Like, and I'm like, bro, like, I know for sure I did an impact on him. Dude, you're inspiring people without even knowing. Just you being I you. Do, I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Like, I really didn't know that I did that impact until yeah. a couple months ago. Like, and to where he himself started calling him himself lame. <laughs> and I'm like, dude yeah we no, just, you're, we're doing this exactly, we're making this shit exactly, cool yo. yeah and i was like dude you're you have to be lamer than i am at this point bro. Like, and but he's killing it bro that's the homie that's like shout out zero that's a, that's like, a dope story yeah bro. dude it's awesome bro. and if i can have more of him you know like getting like making impacts on people's life like that that, that i did my job you know what I mean, bro, I did my job. About, it doesn't matter about the the dollar that's in my pocket, the money that I make today. I could yeah. spend it tonight. Yeah, like and it's something bigger than that. It really yeah, is. It's a bigger picture behind it. It and really to be, is. To be bro. able to step on the outside and look back in and see, just like wow. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. And that's why I could say, like, I can say, like, I've tried to humble myself and I've tried to make this a, a bigger passion and. and uh, uh, I've tried to make this what what the purpose like what is the, the purpose real purpose behind why I started this yeah you know what I mean like um, clothes is cool money's cool this and that but the people it's the people yeah bro um, it's, dope, it's bro. wild man it's deep bro <laughs> it it's is. deep man that's crazy <laughs> yeah I'm about to cry get in your eye definitely let's see what you bro wrote. yes bro this yeah. is a dope conversation yeah. man um, what's your message to the world man um love one another uh just show show each other love you know try to make some jokes make people smile you know uh, you never know what anybody's going through you know and uh if you could just make someone smile get them out of what their thought process is um befriend them and yeah make make people smile laugh and and show love give people a hug like, dude that's dope yeah. that's dope uh yeah, where can they follow you on social media uh, you can follow, follow me you? on lame vintage lame underscore vintage on instagram uh same thing on tiktok uh probably have a facebook um probably yeah i'm not too sure <laughs> um uh i have a, a website same thing lame vintage.com it's all lame vintage uh so yeah lame vintage.com and if you're in the mccallan the valley area 956 uh we have a shop right here downtown mccallan 301 north main street uh, above the birdie bistro reminisce vintage that's what it is sweet six and go visit the lame room guys it's pretty fun awesome lame room y'all check it out make sure you go follow them on all platforms uh that's pretty much all the time we got bro i appreciate you stopping by and oh, chopping yeah. it up with us and everybody else tuning in on facebook yeah, live you guys. youtube live soundgarden app a uh, very special guest, a really? friend of mine, and it's it also is. the very first episode of the new rebranded Wave 3 Radio, The Wave. So, again, same face, different name. Bring, bring you awesome content behind the scenes on every show, fights, uh, the, the fashion world. We got a lot of stuff coming for you guys. And uh, again, tune in next week, 830.